welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to take a look at Fossil Rachel tote bag and I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, back in, back in March, I ordered this bag. When I ordered this bag, of course, I, I just opened the box. When it came in, it's so pretty. I mean, they took care of it. It has this dust bag. So funny, like, <clears throat> they put in your return. The return is it in an envelope like this. I thought it was like, oh, they have a thank you card. But actually, if you want to return it, this is your... inches long and four inches wide and 13 in 13 inches high okay let's go to, to the device compatibility I think it can fit the 15 inches laptop yeah, I think this this is very roomy so if you have a Samsung Galaxy Note I'm not sure what's the latest right now I'm not really in the <laughs> into gadgets but I'm pretty sure the iPhone Pro 11 really fits this so that's a size let's go through the design one thing I'd like to have when I buy a tote is I want it to have a seat top because it's it, it really helps me to keep things inside because I have a child anything can happen and it has this um, leather pull which I which is, makes it easy it has this dual top carry handles that the size is 9.25 inches long it's the shoulder drop because but they say the longest you can make it but I don't think I can adjust it to anything I think it's gonna be permanently 9.25 it has a snap-on pockets in the outside and then in the inside it has this two slide on pockets which is really good for cell phones and some stuff and it has another zipper pocket the only thing about this it's not big enough one of the things about fossil is if, if you would like it instead of their logo the, the, their printed logo of like gold <coughs> You can ask them to emboss your initials or whatever name you want. I think it's just going to take a little bit while to ship. Not too long. Maybe it shipped to me like probably a week and a half. And then they still have this logo at the bottom that's also embossed. I want to add also from the design. I like the key which add up to the, the design and the look of the bag. And, People, I think people who love fossil will know that it's a fossil even though there, there's not a big logo in it because of the, this and yeah this is the this is the design and I like the color even and I also like the color of the the look at first I was like I didn't expect it to be like this it's almost like an orange orange brown too. it's brown but but it's not the shade of brown that I expected but as I see and look at it I'm beginning to like it even more the only thing about the design of this bag is this how they put in the, the handles it's not you see what I mean it's, it's not sewn it was attached like that so 
I'm not sure if this will hold because I put a lot. I hope I, I'm going to try to be, you know, to be easy on this. So that is the design. So let's go to, to the material. The material is pebbled leather and it's, it's, it's a soft leather. And I think most of the time it has a polyurethane trim. You know the trimming, this piping on the side, I think it's polyurethane and I think even my old bag after five years, I have no problem with, with those things. And yeah, and the design of the under is just plain leather also. So that's the, that's the material. The hardwares are all old English brass, which I think is very common, very common because they are the ones that they tarnish eventually, but it's, it doesn't look bad even if they tarnish. Even with the tarnished old English brass on a leather that, you know, that's really nice, it's, it still looks good even when it's old, as long as it's not, you know, falling apart. It, I think it's it's it still look good. It just shows that how, how durable it is. The inside material is polyester, which I like. And I even like the color of it because you can easily see things in it. And yeah, I just hope that I can easily clean it. Another thing I want to add is I got it on sale. I'm a smart shopper, so I always buy stuff on sale. So why would I pay full price when I don't have to, right? I sometimes do a little bit of like what's in fashion, but most of the time I'm not. I just want to look good on my own right. I'm not trying to be anybody or anything, but if I see something nice, I would want to have that look. <laughs> to be honest. I want to look good as a mother and a wife to my child and my husband. That's my goal. So this is my take on this. If you have any other question about this bag, drop me a line on the comment below. So anyway, this is my Sydney and I really like it. I just want you guys to see the comparison. So this is the front. Take a look at that. The okay, let's compare the look. They're almost look the same, but you know, times have changed. And one of the things that changed is when I bought this, I only have the 5S iPhone and it fits here perfectly. Now the bigger phones cannot fit in this anymore. Maybe standing and showing, but the old one fits perfectly inside. And then it has a, a longer leather pull, which I think they could have done too, right? It has the same zip top closure. The only thing also is it only has one. It only has one other pocket. And it has the same top handle. You know, two top handle. I think this one is eight and a half. This one is longer. Yeah, it's just a little bit longer shoulder drop. And in the outside, it has this old English brass. I think that the, the hardware are the same, old English brass. Some of it are a little bit tarnished already, but still look good. I mean, I think you can see that. So this is the difference in I'm not sure exactly the size, but if you can take a look at it, it's almost the same size at the bottom. You know, it's just that when you sit it like this, because it's been used a lot, it looks different, right? Yeah, but but this is a wee bit this is a wee bit bigger, and then. The leather of this is a little bit heavier, in my opinion, than this. This people's leather is a little bit finer than this one, and 
and then he has this only like printed gold printed having paid for five years of use and then in the inside he has the two slip pocket the same and a zipper pocket inside like that and it has card slots it has a pocket zipper pocket and the zipper pocket has more pockets and three card slots two more sliding smaller sliding pockets and three card slots so yeah that's the that's the design and looking at the material is almost the same i think it's, it's the same leather and fully urethane trim like i told you it has every trim is still perfect and this is what i've been telling you i think you, you know tote bags i mean they're not really like the high fashion it's not like a high fashion bag but this looks like a little bit you know i don't know i don't know how to put it i don't wanna i don't wanna say so much about it but this look this makes it look a little bit more high-end you know the how it is and i feel like this is also makes it a little bit more durable because i'm not sure with this one what's gonna happen in the long run as you put more and more things and as you as you wear it more and more so yep that's just one of the things and also the zip pocket inside is really big so it's it's it reaches the bottom and yeah I'm just like saying things to you randomly because I I don't make I don't remember everything and I'm trying to remember everything and point out everything to you so that you you will have an idea if you have the Sydney shopper and then the the material inside is I think this is cotton. I think there's a little bit mixture of polyurethane to make it durable, but it's it's more cotton than polyurethane. The polyurethane is a little bit rough, and I feel like if you have a nice leather wallet, <laughs> I hope it doesn't damage it. But you just have to be careful with those things. But yeah, the, the inside material of this is better than this one. This one I like that it has these things on the bottom. So size-wise, this is a little bit more than 17 inches. Because when I measure this, this is actually 17 inches top. And then at the bottom, like if I would really use the edge to edge, like 13, this is 12. This is exactly 17 inches. This is a little bit more than 17 inches. And then the height is, this is like 11, 12. So yeah. So I, I think what's in the website is just approximates. The leather of this is heavier than this. My old one doesn't have the key. And mind you, this one I saw pre-owned. They're selling it for more than $100. I'm not asking for anyone to offer me because this one is has a little has some scratch but all in all it still looks very very good but I'm surprised that people are still willing to buy this it's the first bag that I bought when I came here in the US so I'm really happy that I still have it that's it for now guys I hope you find this informative and if you decide to buy the Rachel tote bag I hope you would be happy with it I hope you can come back to my channel for more reviews and I hope you have a great day ahead of you and enjoy life see you oh one more thing please don't forget to like and subscribe